To many, Costco is considered one of the most magical places on the planet. Actually, it's the only place I know where you can buy tissue paper, a 10-pound bag of carrots, and I don't know, a kayak. Well, this morning we are meeting a pair of Costco superfans. We have David and Susan Schwartz on the couch to tell us about their amazing journey that took them to every single Costco in America. And now you have a book out called The Joy of Costco. Welcome to New Day. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And welcome to the homeland of Costco. Absolutely. Costco country here. Have you been to the number one store? We have. In fact, we the first time we were there was 2015, long before this book oh. uh, hatched up. So, yeah. So let's talk about this. How did this come about? You, how did you decide to take this long journey and write this book? Well, um, in, when we first met, we, we both realized we loved Costco. We've been going to Costco for years okay. independently. Um, we love the quality. We love the uh, low prices. We love the fact that you never know what you're going to find <laughs> at a warehouse. It's, there's always going to be some kind of wow thing going on. And uh, in 2016, I was finishing a book that I was writing about Enrico Fermi, the Italian physicist. And I was talking to Susan about other science projects that I wanted to do. And midway through this conversation, she blurted out, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we write a book together about Costco? Right. We, could, we could travel all over the world. We could find out more about our favorite company and, uh, and tell, our mem tell members and readers all about it. I have to say, I was fascinated by all the facts that you have put into this book. And, and really, truly, you know, I've been going since it was Price Club in Los Angeles. Yeah. And so it's one of these things where everyone has had a bit of Costco touch their lives. Well, I got to tell you, we, we had some problems I, after I blurted this out. Um, the first is I'd never written a book, so that was sort of a ridiculous thing to say. David had written a She's Fermi a very book good writer, it turns out. I but bet he, she is. He made it seem easy, so I had no idea. And the second thing is COVID was around the corner. We were hoping to travel, so COVID made it much more challenging. Ah. But the most serious problem is that Costco is very modest, and what we wanted to do was brag about them, and that made them deeply uncomfortable. So it took us two years to meet Jim Sinegal and Craig Jelinek, the surviving co-founder and the CEO. It took another three years to convince them we weren't going away. It took us seven years in total to, to write the whole book. But they cooperated. Eventually, yes. Eventually, yes. I mean, we have also, we've done many stories on Costco here on New Day. We've actually had the co-founder, Jim Sinegal, on the show a few years back. But they don't do a lot of interviews. They don't do a lot of advertising. There's a picture of Margaret talking um, right oh, there to Jim. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is fascinating when you see it that way. What was it that finally convinced him that you two were legit? Well, that's actually a really good question. I think it was the fact that 22 publishers had turned us down for the book. Oh. And so when we, we got this email from Jim, Easter weekend of 2021, I will never forget it, 1 p.m., an email came in from Jim. We'd, we'd been updating him all along, right. whether he wanted a book or not. And he said, Craig and I have talked about it. We think maybe we should make sure the book is accurate. Would you like to come for a, and I said, when? When? <laughs> Meeting. <laughs> when? <laughs> and, um, and when we met him then um, in May, um, we said to him, we're publishing it ourselves. Because you think we're nuts already? We're really nuts. So we set up our own publishing company, <laughs> Hot Dog Press, and we published the damn thing ourselves. We, we, we also told them that they could have the f you know, final review of the manuscript. You did? Yes, we did. That's Alan, all very kind. Voluntarily. Well, voluntarily. You know, we wanted them to feel really comfortable with what we were doing. Because this is a this is kind of a fan love letter to Costco. Exactly. We talk about some of the stuff that's negative as well, but we don't we don't dwell on it. We certainly don't talk about any of the competition. It Everybody is. does something different. What competition? It, Just kidding. It is a love letter. Let's talk about this. You love it so much that you traveled all over 14 countries, 46 states, Puerto Rico and DC. What made you say that, I mean, because you could have written this book at home, but you why did you go to all these places? It just, well, first of all, we, we love to travel. This is, I mean, we, make, <laughs> we, we do love to travel. We made Costco a write off. I mean, this is great. We're happy for that. Um, yeah. But um, just to get to see how different it is around the world, about 40% of the product is different everywhere you go. Really? So it's really fun for people like us. And also, the food court is so different, and the people are different. When you walk into a Costco in Taiwan or China or New Zealand, you know you're in Costco, but it's still different. They don't have hot dogs? They have hot dogs everywhere. In Asia and the South Pacific, they're, they're pork. Okay. Instead of beef, but they put different toppings on them around the world. In Mexico, it's jalapeno pe pe peppers, and Yum. in Iceland, crispy fried onions. Which are Look fantastic. Look at that. I bet. They're fantastic. fantastic. I bet. So, what about um, some of the treasures you found in all your travels uh, around? <laughs> oh, apparently, 
a $9,000 golf cart, which actually, I got to say, I think that's a pretty good price for a golf cart. Am I wrong? It's, it's, it's a very fancy golf cart. The, the problem is we travel with carry-on luggage only, oh, so that was... So you didn't buy these uh, massage chairs and take them home? No, but the project Tempting, was exhausting. have been. But the project was exhausting. We needed that. Oh, and yes, yes, I do drink some booze, yes. Wow, that is a magnum of veuve clicquot. And wait a minute, that's your book. That is our book, yes. So, so Costco is selling your, you self-published it, but they're selling it. Yes, we found that out one month before the publication date. So we went ahead without any insurance or any presumption that Costco would sell the book. We are being broadly distributed in the U.S. and Canada, Barnes & Noble, on Amazon.com, independent bookstores. And we were Snoopy dancing when we heard they decided <laughs> to sell it. I was going to ask. Really grateful because they're highly curated. They sell only 3,800 items in a warehouse. Yeah. A supermarket sells 40,000 and Walmart sells 140,000. So to get to be in the warehouse, which is the Costco store, yeah. is, and not only that, but on the book table is... I'm, she's speechless. It never happens. You know yes, what I learned I from your book? which I did not know. I learned a lot of things, actually, which we'll get into later. But I learned that 25% of all book sales that can be, if they're sold at Costco, 25% of, of what they make comes from Costco. Is that, did I accurately quote that? Tell me if I didn't. Yeah, if a book is carried by Costco, they, they will often you know, sell at least 25% of the run. It, it, that can be, but also, <laughs> Costco has an unbelievably generous return policy, so if people don't like the book, they can return it. Please don't, we self-published. Don't do but, it. But <laughs> You're not gonna want it. You're gonna actually don't want it. Everybody's gonna run it. out and get this book right now. <laughs> um, I think it's fascinating. Okay, here's the thing. I, do, I love Costco, I really do, but it's, I get a little stressed. I actually feel that they should hand you a shot of tequila when you walk in, just so that you don't, not the kids, just the adults. Um, because I feel like I'm always in someone's way. And it's so intense and it's so stressful. Like, what do you think the, the reason for that is? It's, well, I, it's interesting you say that. The crowds are different in different countries. Oh. So, you know, when you're in China, you know, people jostle, actually jostle to get to where they're uh, going. That stresses me but, out. But um, in the United States, it tends to be a little bit more orderly. Our, our warehouse, which is in Manhattan, is very small. It's one. It's I think oh, third that's, smallest. I'm like getting. It's the hives. third small. <laughs> it's the third smallest. So we figured out a way to to sort of weave through everything to get to where we're going. So I'm gonna go to Iceland, have the, the fried <coughs> onions on my hot dog and beef. I feel like in Iceland it'll be more mellow. I, Iceland yes. is very mellow, okay, although the that. first weeks were so jammed up that lines were around the around the warehouse. I like it. Okay. All right, we need you to stick around for a lightning round we're going to do later in the show. But before we wrap up, I want to ask you about your book event tomorrow. Oh, thanks for asking. Yeah, super, super excited. It's our first live bookstore event, and so appropriate it's in Seattle. We're going to be at the University of Washington. I think it's called UW. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, that's what we call it. It's the U bookstore there. UW Bookstore. I mean, so excited. We're going to take people who come to the event, we're going to take you on a trip around the world um, in uh, it's 50 or 60 slides of things you can't imagine from around the world. Oh, um, how fun! You have slides? It. Yes. 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 Love a It'll slide be a PowerPoint. Show. It'll be great. Uh, well, y'all, we don't have Vuv, but we do have Costco Kirkland oh Signature oh. Prosecco to cheers you all. Oh, thank cheers you. to Costco's 40th anniversary. I think I know what I'm doing for lunch today. Hot dogs all around. Hot dogs on me, crew. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you. What a fun thing. Thank Ooh. you.